여러분들 안녕하세요. 한양대병원 박창주 교수입니다. Hello, I'm Professor Changju Park of Hanyang University Hospital. So today we are going to surgery for number 24 and 25 um, implant of 56-year-old female patient. So what is the point of today's surgery? First is that 24 after extraction, immediate implant placement, and between implant and buccal bone, uh, collagen will be used uh, as a bone uh, graft material. Second is that, as you can see, this patient on the panorama view has impacted uh, tooth, especially 24 and uh, it overlaps with 24 and 25. As for because of the second carriers on 24, the bridge has to be removed. And in delivering implant, when you do surgery for 24, uh, leveraging the advantage of digital guide, uh, avoiding the impact uh, tooth using one guide was the focus. That will be the focus in surgery. And number three, number 25 implant, the impact tooth in there, well, there will be partial engagement, so I believe there is a room for argument in such approach. But look, watch out for these three points uh, in the online surgery. So first, through one guide study, 24 as much as possible, try to uh, go around the impacted premolar, but for 25, it was on the upward position, so uh, we designed uh, for partial engagement. As you can see, the hard tooth um, indicating bone quality here. And according to this report, it's actually D2. So why, you might say, are we doing this type of crazy thing? Conventional way is in expect the teeth needs to be extracted and after uh, making bone in that site, uh, you do implant surgery. But after extracting impact teeth, especially for elderly patient, that site that does not really fill up with bones. So you need massive GBRs, many cases, uh, which means a lot of um, struggles and difficulties for patients. And then I came across this literature. This one started with case report and through long-term observation, it became case series, even long-term follow-up. Complications is very hard to study because you cannot create intentionally complications. So it's very hard to do patient uh, comparisons. But like this, if there is something wrong in implant, but observing that to make sure there's no issues, especially if there is uh, impact teeth or ankylosis uh, related, and even if you engage implant, there's no problem. There are many evidences in the literature that shows that. So we fully discussed with the patient and rather than extraction and GBR, um, in some parts, uh, implant engagement was possible. So that type of kind of agreement or promise was made with patients. Of course, if there's any issue, there will be emergency response and especially 25 uh, would um, engage uh, the uh, implant. I hope that uh, uh, you will watch out for that. So let's go to the surgery.
Thank you.
So, what did you think? This 
is a panorama test after surgery. Initial stability is good, so healing abutment has been connected. And on the panorama, 25 implants as the uh, tooth was very hard, drilling was a bit pushed. And the implants was also slightly tilted as a result. So if you compare the Combeam City, it's a pre and post op comparison and number 24, very clean. Um, extraction without touching vocal bone and implant has been delivered uh, going around the impact tooth. So collagen bone graft uh, material has been filled up nicely. Uh, the issue is with 25 and implant here as we had expected slightly engages the impacted tooth. As the tooth is hard, drill has been slightly been slide or pushed. But again, initial stability is good and helid abutment has been connected successfully. If there is a chance, maybe a bit long-term follow-up can be, be possible to look at uh, what happens when you engage uh, the impacted uh, tooth, maybe next time. But anyway, I'll see you next time with more interesting case. Thank you very much.